In this video, we're going to see how to read external variables in a talent. We're going to do this with a T context load component here on the bottom right side, as you can see. And why would one want to do this? Uh, because ND variables and the respective values is maybe useful to store in some external place, for example, in this case, in a file or what other location to load them at a runtime uh, in talent. So we're going to switch to talent. We've got that job here, variable load. And in this job here, we've got four variables that I already defined. And these are the variables we are going to export to some external location. For the sake of the example, right now I will deactivate, sorry, this last uh, sub job here. And then we're going to look at uh, what are we doing here. With the pre-job connected, we've got a set global var component which as the name implies, uh, defines a global variable, which is in my case called param file and has uh, this uh, value. Okay, so my talent data params uh, directory, I will create a context.csv. You can see here for the moment, I don't have anything else uh, with this uh, name there, just the other existing file. Okay, and then we're going to dump in the context. Uh, for the context dump, we're going to use in this t-context dump component and writing it into a file. Okay, to simply use this context and dump component. It has a schema of key and value defined, predefined, and then this goes to our file. Okay, now here you might want, uh, you might wonder on how to use this uh, fragment of code and to get this uh, param file from global map. I will show you. You simply, like with other variables, uh, you write a part of the name, for example, tz. And then we have tz global var, and here it shows param file. And if you click return on that, uh, if you hit return on this, uh, it converts to this fragment of code. And this can be used wherever you want to access and this variable. All right, now if we run this job, we can uh, see that it's written four rows. We can see the result here. Uh, in our directory, also open the file with the respective content, which is okay. And, and now we're going to deactivate and this sub job here and activate the last one, which actually loads and the data. Okay, so we activate current sub job. Now we here, we give the same location of the uh, parameter file again. And here we use the context load component. Uh, so far, so good, right? Now, what do we have? We have four variables here that we maybe use in some other place than in our job. In this case, we don't, but usually you would, obviously. But in this component, obviously, we have to consider two, at, at least in two cases, right? Here, first case is if a variable loaded, but not in the context, we will have a warning, right? If we get more data from this file, that might be okay. So we just give a warning. And here, the other case with which would be worse maybe in a job if you really use the variables or try to use the variables is if a variable in the context but not loaded, I want to generate an error. And I also can define here that the job uh, stops on error, which is this option and die on error. Okay, so first of all, let's run it as is. And you can see that it's just writing on the console because I also defined it here. And there's a checkbox print operations on the console, uh, what it has done. Okay. And, and now we could, for example, go ahead. Let me show that here. In our job, we have this. For example, for character, we have C. We've exported this to our file. So let's change that. Okay. Let me put a three here. And uh, let me put another string, for example, uh, now from a file. And I run this job again, it's still all fine. Just we're passing other parameters from the file, as you can see here. Okay, but now things get worse. Somebody edited my uh, file, okay, like something like this. We deleted something we needed in our job. Okay, so we run that. And the job stops here, okay, if we would have any uh, for the components or things like this in our job, it would um, not 
processes. Okay, we have these three values as you can see here, but it says for C integer uh, is not been set by T context load. And in this case, because we set a die on error, it's uh, still stopping. And you could still decide for yourself, obviously, if you could still use and uh, because you would have to define at least the component as a placeholder, use the default value here from the job or uh, really uh, stop the job at this point in time. Okay, or then the other thing would be, let's un undo that. We've got a new rebel, uh, let's say new war with uh, my uh, value, okay. Then we have more information coming from the file, which should not be harmful, and that's why we defined it, here, defined it here as a warning. So then we execute the job and say, okay, warning parameter, this with this value uh, is uh, loaded. All right, and that is how to read external variables in a talent. Very useful because you can obviously also use uh, other sources for reading your variables with context load.